All right, YouTube, what's up? Um, today, going to be talking about um, how there's a TV tuner uh, about to be available in, in the near December for the iPhone 3G that's going to allow you to stream TV straight to your iPhone wirelessly. All right, guys, here we go. Roll that intro. Alright guys, what's up? Uh, Apple Updater here. I don't know if you guys can really tell, but I'm um, not using my microphone like I did in my last video because for some reason it's not being detected by my computer right now. Um, and I don't feel like we're staring my computer. So I'm using this wired mic right here that's uh, running up through my shirt and it's taped. I don't know if you can see it, but it's right here. Right there. Alright, well now let's just get to uh, the news. Um, like I said, Apple, not Apple, but over over in Japan um, and parts of Brazil, uh, this company SoftBank is going to be um, um, releasing a TV tuner application, almost type of thing, uh, for the iPhone. Um, it's uh, it's Apple's carrier over there in Japan and parts of Brazil. Um, SoftBank is the name of that company, and they announced today, Thursday that plans uh, to begin selling their TV tuner add-on uh, later this year will also serve as an external battery pack. Just thought I'd let you know that. Um, so you'll be able to watch TV on your iPhone and also have extra battery life if you need it. Alright, uh, the expected retail for this um, object or item um, is going to be around 100 US dollars when it goes on sale in mid-December. The rechargeable brick-like receiver will include an internal Wi-Fi module and external antenna for tuning into the OneSeg mobile broadcasting service available in Japan and parts of Brazil. Uh, this device will deliver OneSeg signal to iPhone via Wi-Fi through a specialized application that will be made available in the App Store for free. Um, the free... <coughs> excuse me. Um, that's going to be free because you're going to have to wind up paying the $100 for that... Um, for the uh, tuner itself. Um, this frees users to place the receiver in their purse or pocket alternatively. alternatively. Um, the gadget can be connected to iPhones via the dock connector where it can then serve as a secondary iPhone battery. Um, that quote, I forgot to say quote, but that line that I just read is from AppleInsider.com. Um, this one is also, this is actually a quote from them as well. Um, it, quote, it appears that SoftBank, Apple's exclusive iPhone carrier in Japan, will market the unnamed device, so far we don't know the name of it, unnamed device through its retail stores advocating around three hours of continuous one-seg viewing time. It weighs in at about 2.8 ounces and measured approximately 2.0 time by, times by 3.5 by 0.6 inches. They say it's slightly more compact than the iPhone, but a little bit thicker and lighter. Um, it can be re it can recharge it can be ah, it can be fully recharged in about two hours over the AC power supply or about four hours via USB. Um, so that's pretty quick charge for the little TV tuner. Um, pictures if you guys want to see what this looks like. Um, I can't really throw it at the end of the video because then it takes me a lot longer to edit the video and then it takes me longer to uh, upload the video to you guys up on, over there on YouTube. So I'm just gonna give you guys a link. Um, this link will be in the video description over here. Um, go check it out. The pictures are in there. It shows uh, an example of somebody using it. Um, and it also shows what it looks like and how it's going to work. Pretty much, that's just a couple pictures on the link in the video description. Um, uh, there's, still lingering, uh, there's still a lingering debate um, whether the iPhone is still met initial expectations in the Far East. Um, or to come well short due to routine difficulties factored by most handset vendors when attempting to crack the Japanese cell phone market. So they're really not sure if it's going to do well or not because the iPhone sales haven't been the greatest over there. Um, they've been good. They've been really good. But um, they're just not quite sure how this is going to sell. Um, so they'll find out. I'm um, just looking at a picture right now, guys. And it's a little box. It looks ex almost exactly like the iPhone. It looks like it has almost a chrome bezel. Um, it has a USB jack on the bottom, 
and a smaller USB jack um, on the other side of the bottom, but it's a little bit smaller so you can plug it in and charge it. Um, and the other one is to connect the um, iPod's dock connect, the iPhone's dock connector to the, to that. Um, Apple SoftBank appear to be working together. To, Apple and SoftBank appear to be working together uh, to fill the gaps, uh, one feature at a time. It is recently discovered that the iPhone 2.2 software, due app by the end of the year, will deliver MJoy support. Meanwhile, uh, SoftBank's TV tuner device will attempt to plug the digital television void through its means to see whether Japanese consumers will find a clunky device or a viable solution. So, to sum all that up, um, there's going to be, going to be, this is not a myth, this is not a, uh, a rumor, it's a positive fact and it's going to happen. Um, that there's going to be a TV portable TV tuner for the iPhone 3G. Um, it's about a box, maybe the size of your uh, iPhone. This is iPod Touch, but it's the box looks about maybe the size of the iPod Touch, maybe about this big. Um, it's a little bit thicker than the iPhone, um, so don't really worry about being that thick. It has an antenna. Um, you just have to plug it into your iPod. You can throw the um, tuner itself in your purse, um, you could throw it, whatever you hold, um, whatever, I don't know, man bag for some of you guys, creepy, um, you can just throw it in there, and then via Wi-Fi, it'll shoot the connections up to your iPhone, um, whether it's in your hand, or it's sitting on your lap, or sitting on a movie stand on your desk, um, so you can just do that, it'll shoot, and you'll have, um, continuous TV, straight stream straight to your iPhone say your iPhone battery starts to run dead say it's uh, going low and you're just about to finish the end of the newest episode of your favorite TV show and you're gonna miss it just plug it into your TV tuner just, just plug it into your TV tuner that's all you need to do and it'll charge it for you so it it's doubles as a portable battery for the iPhone as well um, so this is a really recommended if you guys any Japanese viewers out there um, and when this does come to the US I really do recommend this. It's a great feature. Um, it's really cool, in my opinion. If they have it, if it works with the iPod Touch, dude, I would buy that right away. TV on my iPod Touch anywhere, and also Wi-Fi. How awesome would that be? It's like a portable router. Um, so that's pretty much it for this Apple update. This is Apple update number 35. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Favorite, comment. Please rate this video down here. Um, any questions, comments, concerns, throw them down in a comment below. Also, um, com kind of the comment question of the day, or whatever you guys want to call it. Um, my question for you, would you guys buy this? Does it, th first, would you guys buy this? Second, does it interest you? And third, do you think it's a waste of money, or do you think it's a good investment? Um, so that's pretty much it for this Apple update, guys. I'll catch you in my next video. And, um... Favorite comment, please rate this video. Link in the video description. Also, go check out my iTouch iPods website. Newly revamped it. A um, bunch of new stuff added. A bunch of new forums. All that good stuff, guys. Go check it out. Um, I'll see you guys there. Uh, peace out, guys. Be safe. And stay subscribed. To stay updated, guys.